keep getting molly white by deer and i think it's because y'all don't really understand evolution if we were to really really simplify evolution the central question is what traits help you live long enough to make them babies for prey animals a huge part of the question is how do i not get eaten for a lot of prey animals they're small they camouflage they're hard to see, they're hard to find. Therefore, they are hard to eat. Whenever you think of a big prey animal, like a rhino, a deer, a bison, an elk, you should ask yourself, that animal is pretty big, but it's prey. How is being that big and that spotable not an evolutionary disadvantage? It's because they fight first and they ask questions later. Where did you think the term buck wild and nuck if you buck came from? That is why when we see prey animals out in the wild, especially if they biggest, we see them, we appreciate them from afar, the more you know. If you're teaching survival of the fittest or adaptations, deer molly whopping people, or any prey animal really molly whopping somebody, fabulous introductory topic. Stay curious, y'all.